Today is February 27, 2015. I'm Ramon Gonzalez Marsiglia. I want to warn everybody be careful of a male named Dwight Magnum. I believe he is a pornographer who offers money to target individuals, females, to exploit them to porn. He looks like the male I saw in the remote viewing and is friends with the female who had uh, put feces on her face. Somehow the theory is that he befriends them, then lures them to a secluded location, then offers money to have clothing removed, leading to other immoral acts. He works or has affiliations with a film company called Firecracker Films. He might though with acting jobs or interviews so be very careful. I first questioned him and he didn't answer me about uh, him being with the female. He might even be posing as a target individual so I don't trust any target individual males. If you collect information collect their information as far as the, the don't come in contact with target individual males because it's very dangerous. Some of them are not they're either corrupted target individuals or they're not target individuals at all. They might be perpetrators. I believe we're being attacked so that uh, the perpetrators can traffic women to uh, smut, basically creating smut, luring Christians and all types of females into smut. Where the males are getting attacked so that if we react towards the, the energy weapons, it threatens the female who's telepathically linked to us. They threaten and attack a male while secretly and simultaneously attacking a hidden female also, hidden telepathically. The perpetrator likes to pretend the male is a criminal being sought after with the intentions to traffic females to themselves or others. Their intended target is hidden by focusing the attention on male. How they start attacking the males, which they do to myself, is I'm an innocent victim. I have facts and truths. The suspect, possibly military, distorts the facts. Like they change uh, my, they use my childhood and they bring it to my adulthood. Whatever experience I had in my childhood, they bring it to my adulthood, and then they uh, affect. You know, they blame me for crimes, and they they attack me in the name of a phantom crime that doesn't exist because they distorted the facts. Organized criminal. In military and government, then the criminal, what the world sees is lies, and we become a target. Because nobody wants to, uh, if they they call you a horrible criminal, nobody wants to help a horrible criminal. So you can't believe in the government's lies or the military or whoever's running the leaders of the world that basically lie. When organized cr criminals communicate, they use uh, an extra ele electromagnetics that's organized criminals. The human thought is instantaneous and fast. Here the red dot indicates normal human thought. Organized criminals add an extra bubble of electromagnetic energy then pretends to be the target individual communicating telepathically. They add extra electricity sometimes in my head to communicate to some female possibly. More than likely they're always after females. They're always constantly luring with uh, interesting topics to lure females into conversation, pretending to be myself when I don't speak to the females at all. Meaning, if I sp I don't know who's on me, and if I speak, it's usually just like uh, like talking about the Bible or just making a comment, a real quick comment. But I don't sp sit there constantly speaking. Those are organized criminals. They. You, you can tell by them not shutting up and they're always trying to lure with interesting topics and then the topics leads to some perversion and then they start threatening so they to like to force the females into some kind of uh, trafficking here's an illustration of fast and in instantaneous thoughts the normal thought is really fast it just quickly the electricity is very low and the thought is that you know that you know the organized criminals use like a, a telepathy that they communicate it's very slow and it's like sentencing like the thought is instantaneously like looking at a color knowing what the color is and the organized criminal uses uh, 
voice to skull but it's not voice to skull it's telepathy they use telepathy and then they uh they like have sentencing with it those are organized criminal they sit there telepathically giving instructions and it's like as slow as a sentence this is a news article in the puerto rican paper it shows uh that they code for or they know of the situation don't think whatever you do everybody knows about so they don't think that uh, you have cell phone communications they can listen to your cell phone conversation even when your cell phone is off they uh, they have remote viewing don't think you, you can escape from uh, whatever you, you're trying to hide because everybody knows document the patterns of perpetrators attacking you you're gonna see something interesting here I documented the perpetrators hit my stomach then they inflicted jawbone pain then they hit my stomach again they hit my stomach again then they uh, inflict jawbone pain three times and then they hit my stomach well, they inflict jawbone pain quite a few times then a car driving to the town passes by then they attack my stomach again and I believe that they use that their father they're hitting their coding for that car as it's leaving the to the town they're gonna jump on that car and scout for women that's all these perpetrators do so more than likely when we're being attacked it's about trafficking women or scouting women to themselves when they inflict pain on me of course they placed uh, in January 2009 when this president came into office perpetrators placed a metallic object the size of a grain of rice in my jawbone on the right inner side then they flick at it with the energy weapons causing pain a lot of pain and uh, they use it to code basically for trafficking purposes they deliberately do this in the name of some phantom crime they're allowed to commit a crime in the name of a phantom crime so they believe it's military it's uh, the law enforcement the FBI doesn't do that uh, the police department doesn't do that it has to be military military with this the military operates in secret trafficking of females they're the ones who inflict the pain the other uh, they have their relatives or other targeted individual corrupted target individuals trafficking women with psychology but they'll inflict the pain in the name of a phantom crime meaning a crime that doesn't exist or they distorted facts to make a person look guilty for example if you stole a lollipop when you were uh, five years old and uh, you walked into a bank at the age of uh, let's see 35 they will, they will accuse you of robbing the bank that's how they operate they have no written facts because they know they would go to jail I document my facts and I put notes online I file complaints with the FBI they know they would go to jail if they documented their facts so they have this uh, group of males in the military lying to the public or creating illusion so that they have excuses to inflict pain on me so they can traffic women off of my head they'll threaten me I don't get threatened the women gets threatened and they condition her into uh, to fear and by possibly inflicting pain on them also women have to document truths the truths and facts they don't come near any males and they should document the truth if a, if a male hurt you in any way affected you you should document the truth